गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स लर्न मोर अबाउट टोपोग्राफिकल मैप्स पार्ट सिक्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू कवर मेजरमेंट ऑफ एरियाज ऑन मैप एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट सिंबल्स फ्रॉम टोपोग्राफिकल मैप लेट्स लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द एरिया फ्रॉम टोपोग्राफिकल मैप सो दिस इज अपेंडिक्स सिक्स टोपोग्राफिकल मैप नाउ हाउ वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द area from the topographical map we have to check from the north side from the top side from left to right we have to count the number of the grids or number of square suppose this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 so this side from left to right nine grids are here nine squares are here and from the bottom to top toward west side 1 2 3 4 9 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so this side 9 grids and this side from west side bottom to top 11 grids are here now before going to calculate area we have to learn that each square each grid measures 1 square kilometer as we know 2 cm on map that are equivalent of 1 km on the ground if you will see the scale at the bottom of the map 2 cm to 1 km is written so 2 cm on map equivalent to 1 km on ground so what will be the area of this one grid 1 square kilometer so now what is the way to calculate here we have measure we have count 9 boxes 9 grids are here and this side 11 so we have to write in this way 9 into 11 is equal to 99 square cent 99 square kilometer that is the total area of this topographical map in this way we have to calculate area next these are the symbols and these symbols are given in book also so you have to learn these symbols first is boundaries and the color used for the boundary is black so the symbol for international boundary is this these are the series of bold or alternating dashes and dot symbol this is bold next is state boundary same as of international boundary but this is very light alternating dashes and dot symbols next is district boundary and the symbol for district boundary is dash and tehsil that is represented with black dot next is metal road so metal road two red parallel line and that will be represented with red color unmetalled road that is also called kacha road so that is red broken parallel line pack track pack track that is shown with red broken line that is used by man and animals to travel car track red complete line that is used by bullocks or horse cart red dot that is the symbol for the foot path that is made by man so basically we have to just learn the symbols and colors also next water bodies a small river that is called stream so if a single line will be there that represents stream if blue color will be there it's a perennial stream if black color then it's a seasonal stream now the symbol for river is these two lines and dots are there inside again if black color will be there then it's a seasonal river blue color then it's a perennial river next tidal river now if the arrow is indicated in this way curved arrow in this way then this river is affected by high tides 
low tides also next relative height of the river bank so basically this symbol is for the stream so we can say this is river and this is stream if it is written here 3r basically we have to give emphasis on this 3r so what is 3r here relative height of river bank or stream bank is 3 meter next is embankment embankment that is the side wall this symbol we can say for the river 2r is written on the top 3r is written at the bottom so embankment means side wall so we can say the height of river bank is 2 meter from the top uh, this side and from this side 3 meter now river bed as black dots are there and with one blue line passing from the middle course of the river so it means this river that gets water during rainy season so we can say this river gets filled up during rainy season river with rocks and island in the middle course of the river if the white color patch will be there the circular patch then this is island next canal as we know canal is the important means of irrigation that is used for agriculture so this is a symbol for canal this black line in this way tank tank is used for storing water this blue color symbol either the two symbols are given this small blue square or this little bit circular these are the two symbol for the tank and if blue color will be there for the tank these are perennial tank now dry tank or seasonal tanks so this symbol is for the seasonal tank here three symbols are here here blue square for the perennial tank here black color outline square that is for the seasonal tank and here two symbols in one symbol line is there vertical small lines that shows this tank is having embankment means side walls are there but this tank is not having any vertical line then it shows this is tank without embankment means without any side boundaries so suppose 3r is written with these black vertical line so here we can write say that relative height of tank embankment is 3 meter now next is well perennial well so blue dot solid blue circle this blue dot stands for the perennial well well with brackish water suppose blue dot is given and on the top brackish word is written so it means this well this perennial well having salty water which is not good for drinking well with relative depth suppose this blue dot is given and 7r is written outside so that will indicate the relative depth of the lined perennial well is 7 meter now we have to learn one more symbol one more difference between these two well that lined well unlined well the symbol for lined well is complete complete blue dot even filled with blue color inside also in unlined well there will be only blue outline so here we have to learn this lined well means that this well is having the side walls side boundaries but unlined well this is a well which do not have any boundary side walls next tube well blue triangle that is considered as a tube well this symbol is for tube well this is used for agriculture we provide water for different crops now the symbol for dam the red line with these small vertical red lines and this black these are the two symbols for dam 
embankment now embankment these are the side walls of the river that is considered as embankment river bed we have discussed in the previous slide this island also yes seasonal or non perennial stream we have to do if the stream the symbol will be in black color then it's a seasonal or non perennial stream now next important symbol is broken ground this symbol is for the broken ground and what is the meaning of this suppose if the question will be there identify this symbol what this symbol depicts this symbol depicts broken ground this is due to the weathering due to the alternate and dry period due to the continuous weathering by uh, you know rainfall as well as by dry season confluence what is confluence confluence where two rivers meet the common meeting point of two river is known as confluence so here we can say these are the two streams and this is the meeting point of two streams called confluence next is waterfall now this is the symbol for waterfall this line and this small line cut the main line and written fall 15 meter so the question will be there what do you mean by fall fall stands for waterfall and r will be in relative height only relative height of waterfall is 15 meter now this plus sign in blue color is the symbol for spring next we have discussed in the previous slide well till this we have discussed now causeway we have to start what is causeway 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 is raised metal road across a minor river we used to say that is a kind of bridge on the river so basically what is causeway this will come and define the following term what is causeway this much you have to learn raised metal road island we have discussed that the white small patch fine this is considered as island in the river next is aqueduct aqueduct it that will come and define the following term aqueduct means artificial channel artificial pipeline with the help of which we provide water to the agricultural activities to the agricultural field reservoir this is a symbol for reservoir which is used to store water now this is for the natural vegetation bamboos this is a symbol for bamboos deciduous swamp these are the symbols scattered vegetation next we have to learn we have to give focus on dense forest this will be the symbol for the dense jungle or dense forest open jungle only simple open jungle will be written this is very important prominent survey tree it means the height of the tree is measured with the help of theodolite when we measure the height of the tree so we used to show this symbol on topographical map and we used to write the number this is not height this is number we have written that we have you know uh you know check the height of so many trees and you know after surveying after checking the height then we used to write the number so black color tree and this number will be written number on their trunk black color is used for for the prominent survey tree the height of the tree is measured with the help of theodolite now pf protected forest rf for reserved forest fire line that is a 5 meter wide passage that is around the forest to prevent forest from spreading of fire lime kiln lime kiln is the two concentric circle brick kiln these are the two symbol for lime kiln and brick kiln where we used to bake the bricks then telegraph office to pto psch db these are the important symbols thank you students have a nice day